The Yamato-1, launched in 1991, represents a landmark achievement in maritime engineering as the world's first practical ship utilizing magnetohydrodynamic drive propulsion. The vessel's development emerged from decades of research into alternative propulsion methods, beginning with Stuart Way's groundbreaking work at Westinghouse Electric in the 1950s. The project's origins traced to 1968 when Yoshiro Saji of Kobe Merchant Marine University acquired Way's research. Saji enhanced the original concept by incorporating cryogenically cooled superconducting magnets, leading to several prototype developments, the SEMD-1 in 1976 and the ST-500 in 1978, which achieved speeds of 2.16 km per hour. In 1985, the Japan Foundation for Shipbuilding Advancement later known as the Ship and Ocean Foundation, invested $40 million in the project. Major corporations including Toshiba, Kobe Steel, Sumitomo Electric, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries collaborated on the initiative. The foundation's ambitious goals included developing cargo ships capable of having the transit time between the United States and Japan. The Yamato One's construction took place at Mitsubishi Heavy Industries' Kobe Shipyard, the vessel featured a futuristic aluminum monohull design measuring 30 meters in length. Its layout comprised three main sections, a bridge accommodating three crew members and seven passengers, a central electrical power generation room, and an aft engine room. The ship's revolutionary propulsion system consisted of two magnetohydrodynamic drive thrusters mounted beneath the hull. Each thruster contained six identical tubes arranged in a circular pattern each 25 centimeters in diameter. The tubes were wrapped with superconducting coils made from niobium-titanium alloy filaments with copper cores. Liquid helium cooled these coils to minus 269 degrees Celsius, maintaining their superconducting state. When electricity passed through the coils, it generated powerful magnetic fields within the tubes, propelling seawater backward to drive the vessel forward. On June 16, 1992, the Yamato One completed its maiden voyage in Koba Harbor, successfully carrying 10 passengers. While visionaries had speculated about potential speeds of 100 knots, the vessel achieved a more modest 6.6 .6 knots, 12 kilometers per hour, with a three Tesla magnetic field. Theoretical calculations suggested a maximum speed of eight knots, 15 kilometers per hour, with a four Tesla field. Despite its groundbreaking technology, the Yamato One's practical limitations became apparent. The substantial size and cost of the cryogenic systems required for the superconducting coils made conventional propulsion methods more economically viable. The military sector continued exploring magnetohydrodynamic drive applications for torpedoes, autonomous underwater vehicles, and submarines, but the technology's constraints have limited widespread adoption. The Yamato One was displayed at the Kobe Maritime Museum until 2016, when it was ultimately demolished. However, its legacy endures as a testament to maritime innovation and the potential of alternative propulsion technologies. The vessel's development contributed significantly to our understanding of magnetohydrodynamic propulsion and superconducting applications in marine engineering.